This is a special presentation from the Brighton Central School District Board of Education. Good evening. Welcome to the Brighton Central School District Board of Education business meeting, public meeting for Tuesday, September 6th. And welcome to the 2022-2023 school year. Uh, we welcome Eleanor Oy as a new school board member. Welcome Eleanor, happy to have you here. And we will jump right into the agenda. First, public participation. Does anybody here have an interest to address the board with anything? Principal Tappan, you all set? Okay. Good. Good. He's sharing recipes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, item number three is approval of the agenda for this evening. Obviously, the agenda for the evening was sent out earlier. Thank you, Kim. It's and an amended agenda, just so, so we're clear. Okay. So I'll change the wording on that. Thank you yep. very much. Approval of the amended agenda as sent out. Motion to approve. So moved. Second. Moved by Julene. Seconded by Karen. All those in favor? Aye. Okay, as a follow-up to what was discussed at the August 23rd meeting, what we have first is the approval of the 2022-2023 Code of Conduct that was reviewed on August 23rd. Any questions or comments in regards to that discussion or anything you've come up with since then? No. Okay. Uh, motion to approve the 2022-2023 Code of Conduct. So moved. Moved by Susan. Second. Second by Esther. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, also discussed back on the 23rd, which is the district-wide safety school plan, school safety plan. Um, a lot of work went into this. Greatly appreciative of all the work of a number of people who, who uh, inputted into this plan. Also reviewed on the 23rd. Any questions from the board in regards to this plan? No. Motion to approve the 2022-2023 district-wide school safety plan. So moved. Moved by owner. Second. Seconded by Susan. All those in favor? Aye. Finally, we do have the minutes from that last meeting. I wasn't there, so I'm going to trust you all here. But <laughs> approval of the minutes from the August 23rd, 2022 business meeting. So moved. Moved by Esther? Second. Seconded by Julene. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm going to abstain because I was not there either. Okay. Okay, next up, reports. Um, we don't have our... No financials, by the way. No financial reports yet. No, Thank you right. very much. And, um, not okay. and Eliza is not able to be here. Excited to have her. Um, do, 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 do. We'll go right to the Board of Education. As it's September 6th, most of the committees have not met yet. In a few cases they have. But I'll ask each of the uh, board members, starting with Eleanor, to run through the uh, committees they expect to participate on this year. If you did happen to attend a meeting, if it started already, you can mention that as well. So, Eleanor, we'll start with you. Uh, sure. I'm uh, intending to be on the Information Exchange Committee, the Brighton Believes, the Council Rock meeting, as well as the Safety Committee. Okay. I am um, participating with the Diversity Committee for Brighton High School, um, the Curriculum Council, and Hiring Practices. Great. Thank you. All right. I have seven on the docket and no particular order. Okay. Um, I'm sitting on the audit committee. I'm one of the Board of Ed reps to the PTSA, the 12 Corners Middle School School-Based Equity Team, the um, AIS and RTI area of review for the year, Curriculum Council, and for Monroe County School Boards Association, I'm sitting on a steering and legislative committee. Steering uh, met a couple weeks ago. Um, the AIS RTI team had their kickoff meeting a few weeks ago and legislative meets for the first time tomorrow. Um, I don't want to put you on the spot. Yep. Do you want to quickly define AIS, RTI, just in case? Yeah, sure. Um, academic Intervention Services. Services. Thank you. Um, and response to intervention are um, two areas where our buildings, uh, both regular ed and special ed, work with students to establish um, essentially where where kids are and and where we where we'd like them to go how how, how we help them go so uh, um, there are different tiers um, for response to intervention that we're looking through and then in some cases response to intervention can lead to academic intervention services thank you thanks it's one of our yearly review committees and this is what's on the docket this year great thank you Susan. that is a tough act to follow <laughs> so i will provide my very short list so I am on the Monroe County School Board Association Information Exchange Committee. Um, I am on the French Road Elementary Building Diversity Committee. 
I am one of the board reps to the PTSA this year. I'm continuing my work on the safety committee, and I'm interested in getting involved with curriculum council this oh, year. Fun, that's my favorite committee. Is that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Endorsed by Karen. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And Esther. And, and Esther. Esther. All right. Yeah. Julie. And I am on also the information exchange, and it sounds like we're really heavy on that, and I'm not yeah. sure if okay. we need to move around yeah. or whatever, but I'm flexible. District wellness and the belief. Okay. Um, I'm on the audit committee along with Karen and Christina, who's not able to be with us tonight. I'm on a number of construction committees for the capital projects that are involved with the board, labor relations, and the uh, uh, Monroe County School Board um, President's Committee. I happen to think something else, but it escapes me at the moment. Do make, uh, I will make two additional notes, and then um, uh, we'll get to a couple of folks here. Um, we should all strive to be lifelong learners. Um, from a school board perspective, we have two people in particular who are role modeling that. So throughout the fall, at different times, we'll see Dr. Susan Gasparino and or Christina Lee as they have conflicts on Tuesday nights because uh, Susan's going for her Master's of Public Health and Christina is going for her Master's of Education. So besides families and uh, uh, professions and school board, they're also pursuing higher degrees. So I commend you both. We know it's going to be a little bit of a... a janky schedule, for lack of a better word, for both of you, but we're going to keep everybody informed, so just let people know that up front. Larry, I believe Christy is going for EDD, her educational doctorate. Thank you very yes. much. That's a good clarification. Yeah. I always think, I always see the Dr. McGowan, you know, if you stack rank people from one to seven, smartest on the board, I don't know if number one is, but I know who seven is. It's me, right? Yes. Um, that's great. But uh, even saying that makes you like closer to like closer to number one say, than you give yourself yeah. credit yeah. for. Thank you very <laughs> much. Yeah. No. No thanks. Uh, um, okay. All that aside, um, now we're going to be able to hear from first Nicole. Is oh, I'm sorry. I'll come back to the BOCES in just a member in a minute. Are there any other board member reports that anybody wants to report on anything going on? Nothing's happened so far. I'll just say I can be on seven committees because this year I don't need a babysitter for any of them. Yay! Because? <laughs> because Peggy started kindergarten today. Oh, well, Thanks, Matt. What, what a wonderful opening day we had. Yes. On yes. yes. I think it's really important to talk about that. It was just really, um, I've been to a lot of opening days and it was just, I think, the best, the energy and the messages that were conveyed and um, hats off to everybody who participated. It was really a great way to start out the year. I, you know, I should probably say something too um, about the uh, new teacher orientation mm -hmm. that we all got a chance yes. to interact with the new teachers coming in. It was close to 30 new teachers into our district and they all bring so much um, background and enthusiasm and it was a wonderful experience to sort of get to know them on a on a face-to-face -face basis. So that's okay. very exciting. Yeah, yes. this is a really great day. Thank you both. A lot of great August energy. Mm -hmm. I'll quickly note for Mark Kokanovich, who is our rep to the BOCES board. I do have a quick update. I'll read a couple of quick highlights. Um, Monroe One has resumed inviting the various board of eds from around Monroe County uh, to visit the Monroe One Fairport campus. We did this a few years ago, and I'll work to set that up again. I'll get with Kim, and maybe we can find a way to schedule that. Um, they do wonderful work over there for all sorts of kids and all different learners. And um, uh, we've had a number of kids over there be very successful, so it's always great to get over there. They had a board reorganization meeting back on July 7th and a number of a different uh, additional summer meetings on August 4th and a retreat on August 18th where they're going through, similar to us, district-wide safety plans, DEI initiatives, and board presentation schedules. Uh, as always, we appreciate Mark's uh, contributions uh, representing us at BOCES. So now I'm going to flip back to the agenda. There we are. Um, Eliza, our new student representative, is unable to be here tonight, so we'll go to Nicole in the BTA. Awesome. Um, so I'm going to piggyback on some of your language um, because I think that we did have a great first day back, perhaps the best day ever. <laughs> um, because, and I think that's a very powerful thing to remember and, and say. Um, the almost 390 members of the BTA are very excited to be back working with our Brighton students and families. Um, we spent part of the summer participating in committees, workshops, professional development. We continue to learn, grow, adapt, and adjust to meet the needs of our students and our families. Thank you to all of you for your continued support. 
We truly appreciate the ability to work with in partnership with the board, with the district, and most, most importantly with our exceptional Brighton families. Um, together we plan to have the most successful year ever for our Brighton community. Look forward to a big report in October. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you uh, actually add a lot of times pictures and things like that, yes. which are super helpful, so that's great. Yes. So thank you. Yes. That's so cool. Uh, PTSA rep, Peter. Yes. Um, we, too, have been busy over the summer preparing for what arguably was a successful day today. Um, we are so excited with the start of the school new, new school year, and we are looking forward to supporting our families, teachers, and students. The BTS, BTS, PTSA is busily preparing for in-person. Events this year, let us know if you want us to help, have good ideas for the PTSA to explore. Uh, the first community PTSA meeting is September 14th at 7 p.m. and is being held live and in person in the boardroom at the central office building via Zoom. Uh, we will be introducing our new executive board and building chairs, uh, giving building updates. Dr. McGowan is scheduled to give a brief district level update and Deanna Spagnola will present what services the district provides in regards to students' mental health and well-being. Thank you. Looking forward to another great year. Dr. McGowan. We, uh, I just want to follow up on, on uh, the reports that you gave. One, that the opening day was super positive with staff last week. We talked about finding joy. We talked about making your best day ever. We talked about finding balance in our classrooms and not taking positions, but rather encouraging kids to develop their own ability to discern, to debate, to discuss, to support their arguments with fact and what happens when we share our own personal perspective and it ends the conversation for kids and that we want them to be able to have a thoughtful dialogue and grow to be citizens who can engage productively in debate, which is a bit of a lost art, we think, and that our kids could benefit from being leaders in that area. And we essentially talked about finding a new normal, that it wasn't about going back to the way things had been necessarily, although we want to go back to a sense of safety and security and warmth and kindness and those kinds of things but that we've learned a lot also over the last couple of years that we should be capitalizing on in terms of our own flexibility our communication the way we teach the way we think about learning maybe a little bit differently we don't want to uh, lose those things that it's okay to go back and capture the things that were great but it's also okay to move on in some cases as well good opening today as well for the vast majority of 3,548 i think kids uh, they had a really wonderful day the typical bumps and bruises around transportation, especially exacerbated by driver shortages, not to the same degree we're seeing other places, uh, but a real challenge to keep things staffed fully, uh, certainly did occur. And we know, and our families I think really know that on the first couple of days things are typically slower anyways, uh, but we would expect that to pick up. And as people get used to their routes and people who've been recently recruited, uh, adapt more and more to the system will be in a better place but um, although slower it was not a dramatic and for those of us that were here many many years ago when we had a, uh, a day uh, an opening day and few days at the beginning that were really challenging we're not talking about that we're talking about kind of typical um, opening day types of things but for the most part having been at all four buildings as kids came in super positive excited kids excited staff members it's like a lot of great holidays all wrapped into one for many of us on a day like today so it was great thanks Fantastic. Okay. Um, agenda item number eight is the approval of a settlement agreement with a particular employee. We've all had a chance to review that. Are there any questions? Okay. Motion to approve this particular settle agreement, particular settlement <laughs> agreement with this employee. So moved. Moved by Karen, seconded by Julian. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. On to the consent agenda number nine, we have uh, personnel changes, which everyone has had a chance to review, uh, different reports out from special ed, and a number of different fundraising activities. That's another sign that um, we're back underway. Yes. All the sports give us a tremendous number of opportunities to eat and get our cars cleaned. <laughs> um, and I encourage everyone to jump on those, and those are all available on the uh, website as well. Going it down to gifts, we have a tradition of reading each of the gifts. They are much appreciated. The first is a gift valued in the amount of $2,000 of a 3.5 Deegan Marimba with Rosewood Bars to the Brighton Central School District Music Program from Dr. and Mrs. Dale Kulik. A gift in the amount of $100 from Barb uh, Hope Kozel. Kozel, thank you. Class of 1970 to the PTSA Hardship Fund. A gift in the amount of $430 from Richard Bloom, class of 1970, to the PTSA Hardship Fund. 
a gift in the amount of $50 from Janet Cristofano in memory of Peter Tolliver, and a gift in the amount of $10 from Natalie Schwartz in memory of Peter Tolliver. Questions on anything related to the consent agenda? No Motion to approve the consent agenda as printed. So moved. Moved by Susan. Second. Seconded by Esther. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Before we adjourn, I'll we'll give you the opportunity to make a comment. I will note that on September 20th, as was the case last year, we will be traveling. And we will be at uh, Principal Tappan's house on September 20th, <laughs> 7 o'clock at Council Rock. All right. At Council Rock, very much looking forward to that. Um, love getting out into the schools and, and being able to see people and see all the work that's being done. It's always important to highlight the buildings folks. Um, they were highlighted on opening day for the great work they do, but we get to see the progress they're making in the buildings to improve those. So very excited about our first road trip, and that'll be to Council Rock on September 20th. Anything you would like to add? Homecoming week next week, homecoming okay. next Saturday. So looking forward to that and to September walking 18th? with all of you. September 17th. September 17th. September 17th. 17th. Yeah. A week, from, it's a week from a week Saturday. Saturday. A week yeah, from that's Saturday. Right. It's right. A, but it's, homecoming it's week is It's at noon, week. right? Yes. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which will include the parade and everything else. You got it. All right. Food prizes, thanks to the Brighton Chamber of Commerce for all that they do to support that. Looking mm -hmm. forward to it. PTSA, all the different youth groups that come together, and our many teams participating on that day. Any other comments for the good of the order? Motion to adjourn. No moved. Moved by Julene, seconded Second. by Eleanor. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Great work. This has been a special presentation from the Brighton Central School District Board of Education.